Welcome to National Board of Accreditation. In this video, we will see evaluation criteria for Tier 1 UG engineering programs. That is information for evaluation for grant of 6 years accreditation, for grant of 3 years accreditation, then no accreditation. So, what is the criteria? So, th this information is for undergraduate engineering programs under Tier 1 institutions for July 2024 document. Before that, in this video, again, we will see the criteria summaries as per the revised SAR for Tier 1 institutions. We have program level 8 criteria, institution level 1 criteria. Program level first criteria, outcome based curriculum, 120 marks. Criterion 2, outcome based teaching learning, 120 marks. Criterion 3, outcome based assessment, 120 marks. Criterion 4, students performance, 120 marks. Criteria 5, faculty information, 100 marks. Criteria 6, faculty contributions, 120 marks. Criteria 7, facilities and technical support, 100 marks. Criterion 8, continuous improvement, 80 marks. These are all program level 8 criteria. Then institution level, we are having one criteria. That is ninth criteria, student support and governance, 120 marks. Then total marks across all the nine criteria is 1000. Now, let us see evaluation criteria for Tier 1 UG engineering programs for accreditation of six years for Tier 1 institutions for July 2024 document. So you want to aim for six years accreditation, also called as full accreditation. What is the criteria? Let us see. So in this year, from uh, Tier 1 onwards, uh, we don't have uh, scores weightage actually. Here, the four parameters are given. Fully compliant, Y. Concern, C. Weakness, W. Deficiency, D. For Tier 2 institutions, we are having uh, percentage based. Actually, uh, criteria wise uh, score, based on score, percentage. But these percentages are converted into compliant concerns, weakness, deficiency. Uh, these are all the benchmark values. Fully compliant, Y. So, uh, a criteria should contain 75 percentage or above score. Then, that comes under fully compliant. Then uh, any criteria score is 60 percentage and less than 75 percentage, then uh, that is under concerns C. Then uh, if any criteria score is 40 percent and less than 60 percentage, then comes under weakness that is W. Then if any criteria score is less than 40 percentage, that comes under deficiency that is D. Now with these four values now the criteria is defined here for a six years accreditation the first condition there should not be any deficiency d that means any criteria doesn't secure less than 40 percentage of score or weakness also w that means uh, no criteria shall have deficiency or weakness so deficiency means less than 40 percentage weakness means so 40 percentage and less than 60 percentage 40 percentage above and less than 60 percentage score if any criteria secured that comes under weakness so for six years accreditation no criteria have a deficiency or weakness and another condition is at least six criteria must be fully compliant that means out of nine criteria so minimum six criteria should secure fully compliant. That means greater than or equal to 75 percentage or above. Then with only concerns, that is C. Concern means 60 percentage and less than 75 percentage. So in the remaining criteria. So out of suppose out of nine criteria, uh, six criteria must and should uh, secure. Uh, fully compliant Y, that is uh, 6 and above should be Y. Then there are no criteria with weakness and deficiency. Then other three criteria may have concern. 
So concern means 60 percentage and less than 75 percentage. This is the six year accreditation first condition. The second condition, the number of faculty having PhD degree available in the department and allied department together should be greater than or equal to 30 percentage of the required number of faculty average of two academic year studies, current academic year and current academic year minus one. For example, CAY is 24-25. Then minus one means 23, 24. These two years average the percentage of PhDs in the department and allied department is greater than or equal to 30 percentage. Then the third condition, the student faculty ratio that is SF4 in the department and allied department should be less than or equal to 20 is to one. This is average of three academic years that is current academic year current academic year minus 1 that is CAYM1 and current academic year minus 2 that is CAYM2. For example, current academic year is 24-25, 24-25 SFR ratio, then minus 1, 23-24 SFR ratio, then minus 2, 22-23. These three years average SFR should be less than or equal to 20 is to 1. This is combination of department and allied department. This is the third condition. Then the fourth condition here, we are having two cases. The first case, if the department or school is not running multiple UG engineering programs and does not have any allied departments, which are running undergraduate engineering programs, then the department or school under consideration, whichever you are applying for accreditation, needs either two professors or combination of one professor and one associate professor on regular basis with PhD degree in the current academic year and current academic year minus one. For example, current academic year is 24-25 and previous academic year 23-24. Uh, so these three years, uh, this combination uh, should be uh, available. And then case two, if the department or school, including allied departments, previous one uh, not having any allied departments, in case two, having allied departments. That means which runs multiple use engineering programs. Then the department or school under consideration needs either two professors or one professor and one associate professor. If we have two professors, no problem. If we have combination, one professor and one associate professor also allowed. Uh, both are on regular basis with PhD is mandatory, both in the current academic year and current academic year minus one. Additionally, the remaining UG engineering programs, which are not going for accreditation, which are allied uh, programs. Suppose you are having uh, uh, N additional UG programs for that required N professors or N associate professors in the department or school or allied departments on a regular basis with a PhD degree in the current academic year and current academic year minus. Suppose your department having uh, four UG programs, let us assume. One uh, UG program, you are going for accreditation for that program, require two professors or one professor and one associate. Other three UG engineering programs uh, are required, uh, each program, one professor or one associate professor. Program is, is mandatory in the department or school or allied department. So all are on regular basis with the PhD degree, both in the current academic year and current academic year minus one. Here you can see an uh, asterisk is mentioned. So what is this asterisk means? Suppose uh, you have to exclude the number of professors or associate professors for the UG engineering program that have been running for less than three years. So any program that is a new program still that is in third year, uh, it is not entered into final year. So for that, uh, that means CAY, CAY M1, you have to exclude the number of professors or associate professors. This relaxation is there. So uh, that is the case two. Then uh, fifth condition, the HOD of the department in which the program under consideration is running should be appointed on regular basis and should possess PhD degree in the current academic year. HOD should be on regular basis only. So these are all the fifth condition, five conditions for full accreditation. That is six years accreditation. Next, we will see the conditions for three years accreditation. These three years, we will call it as provisional accreditation. 
Let us see what are the conditions for three years accreditation. Here also same uh, fully compliant, uh, concern, uh, weakness, and deficiency. These four parameters only considered. The first condition, there should not be any deficiency. That means less than 40 percent is any of the criteria. And at least three criteria out of nine must be fully compliant. Why? That means 70 for, 75 percent is and above score is required. In full accreditation, six criteria. In the provisional accreditation, minimum three criteria should secure Y, 75% and above. Then uh, there should not be any deficiency. Then concerns may allowed. Deficiencies are not allowed. You know, deficiency means less than 40%. Then the second condition, the number of faculty having PhD degree available in the department and allied department is greater than or equal to 20%. For full accreditation, 30%. A provisional accreditation that is three years validity, uh, the, the PhD is greater than or equal to 20% of the required number of faculty. Average of two academic years, current academic year that is CAY and current academic year minus one CAY M1. The third condition, the student faculty ratio SFR in the department and allied department should be less than or equal to 25 is to 1. Average of over three academic years that is current academic year CAY, current academic year minus one CAY M1. And current academic year minus 2 CAY M2. Then fourth condition, same as the full accreditation, here also two cases. Case one, if the department or school not running multiple user engineering programs and does not have allied departments, which are running undergraduate engineering programs, then the department or school under consideration needs either two professors or combination of one professor and one associate professor on regular basis with PhD degree in the current academic year and current academic year minus one, that is CAY and CAY M1. Case two, if the department or school, including allied departments, is running multiple QZ engineering programs, then the department or school under consideration needs either two professors or combination of one professor and one associate professor on regular basis with PhD degree. In the current academic year, CAY and current academic year minus one, CAY M1. Additionally, the remaining UG engineering programs, for example, N programs are there, required N professors or N associate professors in the department or school or allied department on regular basis with PhD degree in the current academic year and current academic year minus one in a total. Here, uh, another uh, here asterisk is there. That means if any program, UG program that have been running for less than three years, for that, you have to exclude the number of professors or associate professors for CAY and CAY M1. Then the fifth condition, the HOD of the department in which the program under consideration is running should be appointed on regular basis and should possess PhD degree in the current academic year. Same condition is there for full accreditation that is six years validity. So these are all the conditions of provisional accreditation with three years validity. Then the third case, no accreditation. So what is the condition for no accreditation? Here you can see if the program fails to meet the criteria for award of accreditation of three years. So uh, previously, whatever you have seen, the five conditions for three years accreditation, if any program fails to meet uh, the three years accreditation condition, then it is awarded not accredited status of that particular program. These are all the three uh, cases for accreditation. That is a six years accreditation, three years accreditation, then uh, no accreditation. Okay, uh, from the official website of NBA, here you will get uh, uh, this information under accreditation or uh, documents you are having under chairperson visit report and evaluators visit report. We are having part A, part B in both. So you can click on part A or part V there for uh, this information is available. Okay, next uh, upcoming video, uh, we will see in our earlier videos, we have seen criterion one, outcome based curriculum evaluation guidelines. Then now onwards in the upcoming videos, we will see other uh, the seven, uh, eight criteria evaluation guidelines, each uh, criterion in one video. So till then stay tuned.